Hey guys, Brandon here, and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, uh, part two. Uh, this has been, like, forever since I last played this. Uh, I don't remember any of my character voices. So, if you guys liked my old ones, I'm sorry. Uh, that's what you get when you watch my channel. You get, uh, completely inconsistent everything. And I am recording this on a night where I have school the next morning, so we'll see what happens. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung the air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything that I had just to endure that weight. Chapter 1 To Survive Daily Life But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And? So, what are you going to do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other. Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. <clears throat> right! She's right! Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward! To forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me! I can't forgive myself! Somebody hit me! Punish me! Ishimaru, uh, I, I don't approve of your kinky actions, my friend. Huh? Jesus, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps, but what is the mission, exactly? Stupid idiot to look for a way out, duh. What the? And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But, 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 but before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True, if we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. All right. So Fine. Then... then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Makoto Naegi. Wow, it's my handbook. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So, just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving the campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. I just realized I forgot to do a sound test on this video. So I really hope that my mic didn't do that weird glitch it does sometimes. Every now and then my mic will do a glitch where it makes my voice sound really, really deep, and I really hope it didn't do this. Because, like, I'm an amateur YouTuber boy, and I'm like, hey, I sometimes forget to do things that are, like, second knowledge. Oh, I'm gonna fucking die. Anyway. <laughs> Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of the surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. 
Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Wow, thank you, uh, Google, for letting me know that it's gonna rain tomorrow. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking this is around. bullshit! What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if he got punished like that, like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. I... Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep, that's so what. Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here. None of that made much sense to me, but you are saying you will follow the school regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Um, hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes black and will graduate, unless they're discovered. I think my light's flickering in the background, that's always fun. You're talking about the second half, where it says unless they are discovered, right? Oh. Wow, I just... Yeah. Read that a little bit out of order. Is that is that is that light flickering or is it just me, guys? I I think I think that light's flickering just just a tad. It's making me freak. Anyway. I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But, but why? Why do we have why, why do we ha have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules that they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Hmm. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's ex let's start exploring the school. Hmm. True. We need. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You there are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it. Damn straight. Okay, then let's all start looking around. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, if you, don't you think? Hm. Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Uh, hold on a second. W wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... But... but... Hmm. So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on! Like hell I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want! What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? <laughs> The fuck's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. I need to stop with the SpongeBob in my head. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking. Dead. I'm gonna kick your ass. S stop it! We shouldn't fight. What? The fuck you just say? You some kind of goody goody little bitch? You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? N no, I wasn't. You son of Fuck a you! Wham. Wham! I'm sorry. <laughs> he punched me, and I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there, in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten. 
The kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I'd last I but I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade, before it ki finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Memes. <sighs> huh? Wh where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? You have, you now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of, of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. But make sure you press F1, FN first on your shitty laptop, because otherwise it'll open the help menu, and then you'll have to do everything again, and click back into the game and all that fun garbage. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load game data under the system section. Finally, press the F2 key to review the transcript. But make sure you press the FN key again because it'll make your brightness go down otherwise. <laughs> Just giving you fun information about how my laptop's keyboard is set up. <laughs> this records all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. What's this? It's some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? What's this? It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. Uh, how do I... How do I do again? Okay. Got it. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Camera! Surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I'd better make sure I don't touch it. What's this? Metal. There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. Is it gonna say that with all of them? Uh... There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. Is it to keep us all trapped in here? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think it's pretty much gonna say the same thing. Can I check out the chair? No. The chair's not real. Trash can! Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. Noise! You got yourself a coin! Got yourself a coin, boy! There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. Oh, okay. Key. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? I'd better hang on to it for now. Monitor. Some kind of monitor. Ugh. There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says... Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' room include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a toolkit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. I know I, I, it, it's from Monokuma, so I should have read it in his voice, but I don't really have a good Monokuma voice, so unless he's directly there, I'm not going to read it in Monokuma's voice. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Okay, uh, I'm going to view my handbook. Wow, look at it. Presents. 
I got anything? No, probably not. I haven't bought anything yet, so why would I? I look at a bunch of their things. Regulations. System. Cool. This would appear to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. It's not, but you'll figure that out later, friend. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. Some of the rooms have locks, huh? I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be mine. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is... What's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. And that's to get out of here. Cool. Leave the area. Yes. <sighs> I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was something waiting but there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham. <gasps> Sayaka? Sorry. Are you okay? I I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built up some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good, then. Um, but are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you. That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto. Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um... Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, listen... Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you'd come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see... After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later and talk... And talk... So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we'd each found out. Wow. Oh, my reading skills. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and make sh I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. I'm just gonna... Go to a secret room. It's a secret room, guys. Check this out. Here! I, tr I like how I tried to press the space bar like it would make me jump through that window. <laughs> Running around at the speed of something. Got nowhere to go. Got nowhere to go. Whee! This is where the classroom and stuff are. I don't have re any reason to go that way right now. I should meet up with everyone at the dining hall. I don't think- I'm just gonna do a test of like- Looks like I can't get in there. I'm just gonna do a test of things. Just like, look at stuff. Everyone's meeting up at the dining hall. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just gonna say that to like every door. Okay, I can explore later. Time unknown. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um... It looks pretty clean, so that's good. Uh, I guess that's not important right now, with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. 
Nobody is waiting there for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? Nope, I'm reading the script. It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial. Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're gonna be talking to Saika, right? Well, <laughs> while you're talking to her, some purple words are gonna appear. Here's how they work. Oh, are you familiar with reactions? Well, just in case, let me explain. When purple world, when purple words show up, if you press the right ba mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. Oh, wow. Just gonna... At this point, you can use the WASD buttons to make a selection and the left mouse button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about uh, things like this is called the reaction. I'm a fucking po I'm a puke. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever important school life. Ah, uh, have you gone ahead and used it already? I know you've used it every single time that purple words have shown up so far. Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. Come on. Let's go. Uh, I'm sorry, I have too many bad jokes in my head from all the people that I watch on YouTube. I don't even mean to steal jokes, I just do it by accident. Because I like them. And that's a, that's a Game Grumps joke, so not stealing it. Uh, I didn't even finish the joke, but I'm still crediting it. Um, so what time is it right now? What? 7 o'clock at night? Uh, um... You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. But those are windows. Kinda. It's like to a pre-painted outside. This is one of the Mon Mon Monokuma monitors Monokuma appears on. Right now it's just showing the school crest. I don't even want to think about when he might show up on that thing next. Ugh. Disgusting. I'm not going to go wandering around, I'm just going to wait here patiently. Fine. It's a camera. Surveillance camera. I hate the idea- oh, we already read this. We're not allowed to mess with them, so I better not touch it. I'm just looking at everything so I get coins, but guys, sorry. Anything else I can look at? Can I, can I, maybe, no? No, nothing, nothing, nothing. I can't look at that sign, I wanna look at that sign. I wanna see what it sees. I wanna see what it sees, yeah! Whatever. Hey, um... By the way, Makoto. Huh, what is it? Well, it's just... I know this is kind of... Continuing the self-introduction thing, but... I wanted to ask you something. BAM! Continuing our self-introductions. Uh, um... We kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Sayaka Say Say wants to ask me something. I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. By the way, how was it? Um, Let's well, just. I'm gonna use the second one now. What did you want to ask me? Dakota, did you happen to go to Black Root Junior High? Were you maybe in class too? Yeah, actually, I was. I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? D 
do I remember? <laughs> Hell no. Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. Even back in middle school, I was a dumb shit who didn't look at anyone, ever. I only looked at my piece of paper because I was a goody two-shoes. I don't think I remember a single person's name. I can't even remember my own name. <laughs> a code and I ate the amnesiac. I'm sorry. <laughs> weird jokes. I can't even say bad jokes, they're just weird. Was that was that a fun effect for you guys? I just realized my laptop screen was a little too far back and wanted to move it like an inch forward. Isn't that fun? How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was. That she remembered me! Oh. Sorry, I'm fucking, I'm terrible. We'd never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Oh my god. Hey, are you okay? You're, like, really freaking out, like, your breathing got all heavy, and, like, you're... Is, is that a stain on your pants? No. What do you mean? I'm fine. I'm just gonna leave and not come back. I, I'm making bad jokes, real bad jokes. I need to stop. Too bad I don't make cuts. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remembered me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years, of course I remember. Well, that's true. There was a lot of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. <laughs> What are you talking about? You're so strange. St strange, that's... <laughs> she started giggling even louder, to the point of, like, it felt like she was bullying me. I started to cry a little bit. I curled up in a ball in the corner, and I didn't come out of my room for the next eight days. The end. Danganronpa was over, because the second I stepped out of my room, everyone was dead. Guess the story really can't go on without a main character. <laughs> that somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. N no, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to you, Ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those Ultimate students. I'm gonna fucking die. My chest is... Ugh. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Okay. I always have, like... For some reason, like, I always have, like, very, very bad intestinal problems, like, chest intestinal problems, which isn't a thing. Like, I have really bad heartburn a lot of the time whenever I, uh, record, and I think that's because I live off of soda and chips. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, continuing with the game. And to thank you for helping. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm gonna become your ultimate assistant. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yup, I'm your assistant now. I'm gonna help you out as much as I can. So let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it. It just gets me pumped up, yeah! I'm ready to chug 800 muscle drinks! I can't believe no one's here. I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm pretty sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Taka threw o open the doors right as Sayaka said that. Hey! Almost like this is a video game. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
help me. I like how whenever I tell a joke, I immediately say I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm totally not abused in any way, shape, or form, guys. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, hate me. <laughs> I need to stop. I think the main reason that I think my jokes are so bad is because I'm just sitting here telling them my telling them to myself. There's no there's no one here. Just me alone in a room talking garbage. There's no one on this side of the screen that I can interact with. Uh, so it's like me sitting in, alone in a room laughing at dumb jokes and feeling bad about it because I'm like just sitting here like oh, well, these aren't funny, you know. <laughs> anyway. Ah, Makoto, Sayaka! So you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet! Well, I won't give up! Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes! Justice shall always prevail! <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that... Everyone else came in, strolling in, one after the other. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the deaning hole. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting! Thanks, Ishimaru. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl. <gasps> uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. <gasps> what? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um... I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Oh my god, she's dead! Oh my god! Stabbing sh like, I get it. We don't need a flashback in order to... Whatever. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Is it possible? Was she really? No, no, I'm just overthinking things. Darn it, Kyoko. You're really going to be late like this on the first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? Also, you're kind of, like, amazing at rhyming. Like, damn. Like, that was almost a rap song. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that. It, like, look at this. Not only is she late, she didn't tell it. Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone that she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Mm. White rapper, I'm sorry, I need to stop. <laughs> I'm driving myself insane slowly. <laughs> this is why I stopped recording videos for a while, because it fucking puts me out of commission for like two days. <laughs> it's not the editing process, it's the recording process, because I don't do any editing, guys, you know me. <laughs> I literally don't edit anything. So... You can blame me every time that a video looks like crap or sounds like crap, because it's my fault 100%. But I only have, like... It's not like I... I don't know. I just have fun recording myself playing games, and if other people get enjoyment out of that, that's cool too. But, like, this isn't a career, so I'm not gonna put all my time and effort into... <laughs> these videos, because it's not my job. I don't get paid for it at all, because I can't monetize my videos yet, because I think you need to be 18 for that, or have a cell phone or something. 
I mean, I'm almost 18. I'll be 18 next year. December next year. I'm not set. I'm not even 17 yet. I'll be 17 December 21st, and I'll probably end up recording a video that day. Actually, the day before, and I'll upload it that day because uh, because I'm gonna have friends over on the 21st, so you know. I'll record it in advance so it actually gets done. <laughs> well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything! You hear me? Now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope's Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun! Um... Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> mm-hmm, you know. Huh? What's up? <laughs> I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. She literally hasn't. She has like four. She she said like four things. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to Biakia. First guy, Biakia Tagami. Can I even select him? Looks like not. Okay. Can I? No. Doesn't doesn't seem like it. She just literally said I've talked enough, let everyone else talk, and I can't select anyone else. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Okay, I guess I have to talk to Sai if I just continue this. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this. Let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... You see... Byakuya and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. Byakuya? What?! I wanted to try to... Uh, I wanted to try and find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all from me. Really, that's it. If I'd uncovered anything, naturally I would have had more to say. But I didn't, so I don't. R right, understood. Um. You see. Yeah. Taka? What? Who's that? I spent some time looking around the dormitory, and there I made the discovery of a century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Wow. Uh. Well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. I keep forgetting to do a Valley Girl voice for her, but it's whatever. I, like, I wanted, like, that's what I want her voice to be, but I keep forgetting to do it. And each room key was assigned to... And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name for precision etched onto it. I, can, I don't know why, but I can't do strong and lady, but that's probably because I'm a man. <laughs> and by a man, I mean a... 16-year-old... Child... Man... Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is, in fact, my room. And plus... And Chihiro found a... And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um... Your next-door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you still wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Hmm. But it looked like there was only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on! Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Quiet down and listen! Well, better to have than not. Well, better to have than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> oh my god, why am I dying?
Th that can't... Th that can't be all you have to re report, can it, Mr. Honor st Student? Got it! That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, You awesome. see? Okay, next one. It looks like Leon, Hero, Junko, and Chihiro all che grouped up together. Junko. I, I, it's a Junko, but I said Junko. That's awesome. <laughs> we all went up. We went all up and down. We went all up and down the school, double-checking the windows and all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any more of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was... Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. We couldn't even get a single one to budge even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, bad, it bad, really bad, bad, bad. sucks. It sucks. 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 What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. God damn. Calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. Um. You see. The same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. Celeste, Toko, and Hifumi were left over, so they joined up. Because, honestly, I don't think they, uh, the developers of this game wanted to have you speak to literally every person individually. Because <laughs> that would take forever. <laughs> we thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Yo. I went back to the main hall, thinking we could... Maybe do something about that giant hunk of metal. Why? But even with Sakura what? and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. It was hard as, like, metal. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. Anyway, if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. Oh my god, why am I dying? I feel like I could just cry, but no! I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then... I'll tell... I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But... But there were gates there, and we couldn't find a way to open any of them. So we couldn't check it out. Hmm. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that is the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Um... You see... If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not the, exactly the types to go running around to school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell were you thinking, just sitting around the gym the whole time? <clears throat> well, well, it's not like any of you I invited me along. Nobody said, hey, c come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. What the? If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. Like, I want to go anywhere with a dirty s slut like you. Huh? Slut. <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my s stomach. Are you for real? I don't even know. I, I don't even know how to react. How can you just say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on! Alright guys, everybody just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now that you're fighting like sisters. I don't 
think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey, um... So if that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. Finally, I can get her story. Uh... I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. What? Sure, for now, but even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you, you can just eat... You can just eat some seeds or something. Huh? huh? What am I, a, a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um... At least, that's what Monokuma said. Huh? You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge, told me that, then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can appear just from... That can just appear from a nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But, was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything. <laughs> e eat her? Um, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? C come on, man! Hey, you bastard! What the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually, not like there's... Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey! Hey, stop screwing around, all of you! Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all die just any second. Ah, She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something, or... A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending a lot, an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Mm -hmm. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Joko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped the piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A uh, map? What the? Where did you find this? Well, it doesn't matter where I found it. It does matter! You're really freaking us out right now! But, more important... Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So, what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy? It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um... But then this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid it's not even possible. This is where the country's future and elite are supposed to come and learn. But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Hey, come on, guys! Let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put this together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time like this happened, something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth, you know? Good things to c come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I am just happy, that is all. It seems the splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you... Been listening? Looking around was a t total waste of t time. We didn't. We d didn't find a way out. Didn't f find who's behind this. We still. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what is going on? Are you okay? It with is this? perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. Mm -hmm. 
You didn't ha have to go and s say that. I was, I w was trying not to th think about it. No way out. We're tra trapped here. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that. Um... Everyone, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who's the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually, As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding night time, right? Nighttime is from 10 a.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we had we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But, but why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try and come kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> if we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a, as a kind of preventative measure. Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can, I can agree to that. It's like the little goth Lita said, without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone is in agreement. Good. <laughs> then, if you will excuse me. Huh? Huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It is almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um... So, I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. Uh, um, well then, what say we call an end to today's meeting? You understand? Like she said, it's almost night time anyway. We can re reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. Oh, this so we sucks. just have to give up. <sighs> That's all f fine and good for t today. But what do we do? What do we do tomorrow? So in the end, our only option is to split up and look around again, and let everyone know if we find anything. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Aww. Then we're done for today. Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um... Nkoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future. Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? 
Oh, right. Let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. This is wrong. Not locked. Holy crap. Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Like some kind of robot bear ghost. What are you doing here? Makoto and Aegi, this is super duper majorly bad. So bad, it's almost magical. Ultra magical, awful, awful attack. Uh -huh. In a point of fact, I in, the, in, a, in point of fact, I acknowledge the fact that the bath. I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait. So the reason it won't open is because isn't because it's locked. The door just doesn't fit. Hey. Um. Didn't you see the notice? What? Can't you read? The bathroom is in the the bathrooms in the boys' room don't have locks. Yeah. I mean, a lock in a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? It's not... It's not that it's pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Uh... I I literally... I, I'm one of those people who, uh, can't use a bathroom unless the door locks, so, you know... Public spaces? Very terrifying for me. Isn't that fun? Anyway, have fun with that fact on YouTube. I wonder where that'll go. I mean, I can use a public bathroom, and I've done it before in my life. It's just, like, I, I'm one of the people who prefer not to, uh, because I, I have, like, weird bathroom anxiety. That's all. That's always fun. Like, <laughs> like, sometimes I literally have to wait for the room and the room next to it to be completely empty. <laughs> it's good. Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door, and that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. So, uh, actually, my my own bedroom door kind of doesn't fit my door frame 100% perfectly, so sometimes I have to do stuff like this to get it to close properly. It always opens properly, but getting it to close properly is not exactly the easiest. So that's why I end up, like, throwing something heavy in front of my door a lot of the time, so I don't have to deal with this garbage. <laughs> Turn the knob and lift the door up while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up! Isn't that crazy, though? Your door's the only one that doesn't quite fit right. Supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye -bye. Anyway, I don't. S I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye. Hey, wait. Damn it. Bing bong. Jing jong. Bing bong. Hey, you blasters, go to sleep. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Looks like it's night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do is try now is try to get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. Oh my god. 
So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be for the best. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher, but when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope Speak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow! Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Apparently, it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka, and we can figure out what, where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Whee! Whee! Hi, Taka. How's it going? Hey! Good morning, Makoto! G good morning? <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. You understand? Now then! Let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sh sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Okay, guys. Um. I think this is a good place to leave it. I'm just gonna make sure I'm situated exactly where I need to be for the beginning of the next video. Uh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna save here and then I'm gonna go. Thank you letting me know, um, thank you for letting me know that there's an update to my drivers, thank you, uh, computer, that's real great to know right now. <laughs> save. I don't do multiple saves, I'm not one of those. Okay, so I'm good now, we just saved it, All right, yeah, yep, saved, cool, we're good, bye guys. Alright, we'll see you guys next time, peace out guys. Boy.